Welcome to our lecture online. In our last example of this type, where we kind of mix things together and notice the triangle is drawn kind of strangely, it's a right angle triangle. This one is 90 degrees. The, side, the corner here is 90 degrees. We're trying to find this angle. We're trying to find that side. Hmm. So if the angle isn't given, you probably want to think inverse trigonometric functions. Now notice that this here is the opposite side of the angle. It's not a bad idea to write that. This is the opposite side of the angle. Here, this is the adjacent side of the angle. And here, this is the hypotenuse. So we're given the opposite side. We're given the hypotenuse. We're looking for the angle. So opposite side, hypotenuse. Opposite side, hypotenuse. That's the sign, because I have to remember that the sine of the angle theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. And so therefore, if we know these two, we can then find the angle by taking the inverse sine, inverse sine of the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, which means that the angle is equal to the inverse sine of the opposite side, which is 14, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 20. Notice it's not a bad idea to label them. That way you're not as likely to make mistakes in this step right here. Now we need a calculator. We take 14 divided by 20 and take the inverse sine of that, and we get 44.4 degrees. So theta equals 44.4 degrees. Now, we're trying to find the adjacent side. Once we have the angle, that makes it fairly easy. We know the hypotenuse, we want to know the adjacent side, and we know the angle, so therefore we can use the cosine because the cosine of theta is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And since we know theta, and we're looking for the adjacent side, we can rearrange that equation, and we can write that the adjacent side is equal to the hypotenuse times the cosine of theta. And so in this case, the hypotenuse is 20, and we take the cosine of the angle we just found, 44.4 degrees. And it's not a bad idea to leave the, ex the answer you just got from the previous part of the problem in your calculator and with all the decimal places so you get an exact answer. So let's take the cosine of that, and then we we'll multiply it times 20, and we get 14.3. So in this case, the adjacent side is equal to 14.3. So we found the adjacent side, and we found the angle, and that's how we do that.